Hi guys, I have to say I am extra nervous for today's video, I guess because I don't know why, I just am. I'm very nervous. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to try to make this video as in-depth as possible. Uh, if any of you want to do timestamps for me, I don't know uh, if you're into that, but if you want to do it, I will pin your comment with the timestamps. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so I am today filming this Natasha Denona bronze palette. It's brand new. And I ordered from Beautylish. I ordered it on Monday and today is Wednesday and it arrived. So if you ever want to receive something quickly, Beautylish is by far the way to go. They are the fastest shipping company uh, that I have ever encountered. So yeah, they also package everything very securely. Um, everything is paper packaging and card. Today is the Natasha Denona uh, bronze palette, which is brand new. But I wanted to show you um, similarities between the palettes. All right, so let's start. First, I'm going to show you the bronze palette because that's what you're here for. It looks like this. And I did bring out I don't know why you said this, but I, I brought the her full size palettes, um, not all of them, just the ones that I think might have similar shades. So let me show you. OK, so the first one I'm going to show you is the Sunrise palette, which was the midi palette from last summer. So there is bronze with sunrise. There are like a couple semi-similar shades like this bronze color. Um, I haven't swatched this one yet at all. And I really, whoops, I really didn't want to do swatches, but I mean, I think you guys will get mad at me if I don't. But I just don't like doing swatches because it messes up my pretty palette. So, um, I'm going to try to take it easy. I'm not a good swatcher at all. Uh, so, I mean, there's probably going to be plenty of other videos that get posted to YouTube that have much better swatches than mine. But I have a feeling that mine may, might be one of the first videos. So I will give you some swatches. Um, but anyway, so the next palette that I think has some similar shades is the Biba palette which is her all neutral palette. All right. There's those two together. Next one that I think might have some similar shades is the Metropolis palette, which is a 28 pan palette, but it's the midi size like Sunrise and, and this baby <laughs> bronze forgot the name for a second okay you can see there are actually some similar shades but this palette was the metropolis was 129 so i think just by the price point alone there was probably a lot of people who skipped out on it whereas the bronze palette is 65 dollars, so that it's just like an easier purchase for people it's still expensive but not quite as shockingly expensive you know shades see natasha likes her warm shades she really does i think it's pretty safe to say that you could even if the shades are different you really could make similar looks with these with the majority of these palettes because she does like her warm tones and her bronzes and her reds and her yellows <laughs> i mean it is getting to the point where we have seen these colors a little bit too much from the same brand and I am a huge of Natasha so for me to admit that after this I am completely ready for something different it seems like she gives us bronzes golds yellows reds or purples and pinks and it seems like that's all she knows except for retro when mini retro came out that one is different than the colors that she usually comes out with. I was actually really, really, really hoping that her this midi palette would be in the same vein as the mini retro and have shades sort of like that that are still neutral and wearable, 
and I know that's the terrible word wearable they're all wearable every color is wearable but I think you know what I mean um, colors that people aren't afraid to wear in like a professional work setting you know that sort of thing so that's what I mean by wearable not that you can't wear blue or purple or any other color under the sun you totally can I get sidetracked very easily my whole point on this one is to compare the sunset which is one of her big palettes mine's a mess I've used it a lot this used to be my favorite Natasha palette so it got a lot of use used to be as in it's like a moving target she comes out with new stuff and my favorites change uh, currently my current favorite is the Biba palette of her big palettes that one's been my favorite for a while before that it was gold uh, before gold it was sunset so I mean it just changes depending on what's what's out and what's new okay so you can see the the shades here here is the gold palette and here is the bronze palette it's a little there we go and the final palette that I'm going to show you, I do have to apologize. I sort of made like a Franken palette uh, between the Safari palette and the Leela palette because I wasn't getting a lot of use out of Leela at all. So I took, I made two palettes out of both Safari and, and Leela. I made like a cool version and a warm version. So I'm only bringing out the warm version because uh, um, it's pretty it's pretty obvious that the cool version didn't really have many shades that were similar to the bronze palette but this one which all of the mattes in this palette I believe all of them anyway maybe not all of them but most of the mattes in this palette are actually from the Safari palette and then all of the shimmery shades are from the Leela palette here we go okay so you can see you can see the similarities there. Oh my gosh, if I swatch, this video would be five hours long for me because I'm not good at editing yet. So I can't swatch all of the similar shades between all of the palettes. So I think just showing you them in the pans is gonna just have to be good enough. And you can probably go to Alicia Kinky Sweat to see her in depth. If she gets this palette, I'm sure she did. But if she gets this palette, because she always has like the most amazing in-depth videos in the whole world. So, um, and she always goes into like all of that. She's a goddess. <laughs> so anyway, I guess I will do a little bit of swatching here. Okay, it looks like, it looks like there's only one cream matte shade, which is this one. It's called Deep Dive. It looks black, but it's, I, I can almost guarantee it's not black but this was the cream to matte formula which sometimes I really like and sometimes I don't so I mean it all depends I don't know if it's the colors that make a difference or what but anyway all right so I am going to just do my swatches along like this okay and I'm gonna swatch on the back of my hand and arm and hopefully that's gonna be good enough because I'm really not good at swatches all right so the first shade I'm gonna swatch is true copper which it really looks amazing in the pan oh that's pretty and the next shade is suntan it's a matte that looks darker on my skin than it does in the pan the next shade is called sundown which is a peachy looking matte again that one looks darker on my skin than it does in the pan now we have deep dive which is the cream to matte formula it looks very dark but it's sort of like a plummy brown. I don't know if you can see that. It it has like a, a little bit of a plummy look to it. It's swatched really, really nice. I have high hopes for it that it's going to be one of the good ones. The next shade is called Rhodium. Yeah, it has a little bit of like blue glitters in there, but it's sort of like a purpley 
shade. That might be a cream shade too. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. Okay, the next shade is in the second row. We're going to go with Magma, which is a matte. This one is like a warm brown. They're swatching fantastic. They really are. Okay, you can see now, a warm brown. So if you don't think they look fantastic, it's my own swatching abilities that are making them not as fantastic as they truly are. The next shade is High Degree, which is, ooh, which is, it looks like a satin shade. It's sort of like a, maybe it's metallic. Metallic-y satin. It's really pretty though. The next shade is called Alloy, which looks like a duochrome shade. Uh, if it's a duochrome, it's very, you know, it is, I think. <laughs> okay, the next shade is called Ridge, which is a matte, and it's like a mustardy looking matte. The next shade is called True Bronze, which looks like a metallic. That is a high shine shade. Very pretty. The next shade is called Gloaming. Oh, I really like that shade. Okay, the next shade is Palladium. That's really pretty too. That is like this type of shade that I think of personally when I think of the word bronze. Like I, that's, to me, that's true bronze, but I mean, I'm obviously wrong <laughs> or wrong in Natasha's eyes at least. <laughs> okay, the next shade is Bliss, which does look like a peachy pinky duochrome with a gold shift. That's what it appears to be in the pan anyway. I guess that's gold. Gold and green. Yeah. Well, that's really, really, really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay. The next shade is called Silk, which looks like it might be another one of the high shine shades. And it is. That's really pretty. And the final shade is called Beach, which is a, it looks like a peachy matte peachy beigey matte yeah that's i would say so and again it looks darker on my skin than it does in the pan all right so here are all of the swatches now that i am 18 minutes into filming just give you like a good look at them i think that they swatched beautifully absolutely beautifully. I am going to do an eye look. I really wanted to be able to do two eye looks in my video, but I have to show houses later on and I won't have time to take my makeup off and start over. So I'm just going to do one eye look and time. Yeah, it's already two o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, so I have to just do that, but I will be back with this palette for more eye looks. Uh, I think I have a pretty open schedule tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to to film that tomorrow. And maybe I'll even film a Kaleidos one because they sent me their palette, but I have literally, like ever since I received that palette, I have been showing houses and I, I just, I cannot wear bright shades like that to, to work. I mean, I know I can, I can wear whatever I want, but I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable wearing um, really over the top eyeshadow looks in when I'm working. Let's get into it. I already did all of my face makeup. I primed my eyelids with the ABH primer. And now I am going to start my eye look. And since this is a Natasha Denona palette, I want, I specifically want to use, I don't know if she created the technique but i saw her do it and i've adopted it and it's a technique that works especially well with her shadows like i don't use this technique on every brand of eyeshadow that i use it just it it's a technique that 
really, really lends itself to her formula. And I usually, almost always, love how it comes out. So I know you guys are going to probably want to see that bluish shade. And that's like the one shade that I really just don't want to use today because I'm showing houses. Maybe I'll use it as a liner and we can do that. Okay, so brushes, Sonia G brushes really are my favorite brushes for this. Um, they're perfect. They have the perfect amount of density and they have the perfect shape and softness and my brushes look dirty but they're fine okay so this is the shape that i use for this technique uh the blue one is the jumbo blender the white tipped one is the builder two and i i have more she has more brushes in this shape uh here's another one the worker two this is this is what I use for this technique. It's a pressing technique. I'm going to be pressing the eyeshadows onto my lid before I do like that sort of blend. And I'm going to just press into like my actual, like if you feel where your eyeball is, like I'm pressing right in there with the color. And then I'll blend it out with different shades. Okay, so I'm going to start with the darkest shade that I'm going, well, I mean, I might deepen it up further, but for now, let's just say that magma will be the darkest shade that I'm going to use, and magma is that one right there. So let's go into that. I'm using the worker too, and let's see if, all right, so what I'm going to do is start on the bottom, just dragging that up. And then keeping my eye very relaxed, I'm going to just press the shadow towards where the arch starts in my brow. And now I'm going to take a fluffier brush. This is the Refer 15. And I will go into, I'm gonna go into Sundown, which is in the top row. It's the, this one. Okay. And I'm just gonna very, very, very gently and lightly blend right above that deeper shade. A little bit more. And then I'm going to bring this one over from there. Okay, now I'm going to go back into Magma with the Worker 2 brush. I'm going to just pack some right there on the outer V. And without putting any more color onto this brush, going back in for a little bit more of a blend. And back into Magma again. Okay, it's a very warm look. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side really quick. So I'm like, I can feel where, I'm going like right underneath where my, the, my orbital bone is. Orbital? Yeah, that's my orbital bone. And you can feel like the little pocket that your 
eyeball sits in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry for uh, anatomy. Is that even my orbital bone? I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So back into the light shade with with the refer brush. And back into magma. Back into the light shade again. Sundown. Sundown. Okay, and I'm going to use a little bit smaller of a brush uh, to, to bring some of that shade sundown onto my lower lid. This is the Esom S, what is that, S33. So dipping into sundown with this one. And again, I don't have concealer on yet, so I can get like a little bit messy here. And just go for the shape that I really, really want. The air conditioner is on, but with these lights, it's it's just a really hot room. <laughs> so I do apologize for looking glistening. That's not highlighter. <laughs> okay. All right, so I do get, I think I talked about this before, but I do get a little bit nervous in these videos where I'm doing my makeup. So, I mean, it doesn't always come out in these videos the way it does when I'm, you know, just doing my makeup for myself. So, I want to get that nice blend. But you see this sort of, this, the shape allows me to keep my eyes very open looking even even though I have hooded lids. So, um, all right, we're gonna call that that for now. And I'm gonna go in with some glitter glue, which is always what I use on, <laughs> I always use glitter glue. I always use glitter glue on my lids because, because, oh no, drop the brush. Um, because my, the hood on my, the hoodedness of my lids, the way it is, like I have so much extra skin right above that crease and it sort of, it, it hangs. It's, saggy lid skin <laughs> so um, it makes for major transferring major transfer issues so I just I use it with every eyeshadow every shimmery eyeshadow I don't use it when I use mattes but I use it with every shimmery metallic type of eyeshadow because my lids need it if yours don't that's great but mine do so I use it and I don't take away any points for the brand for me having to use it because I have to use it for all high degree. That one. I'm just going to put this on the outer portion of my lid. Sort of at like an angle. Now I'm going to go into gloaming. That one right there. And I'm going to bring this one. over like that. Okay, and then to just brighten it up in the center a little bit, center 
high shine shade alloy and I'm just gonna put this right in the middle of my lid kind of where the two shades meet a little bit and now I'm going to use a smaller blending brush this is the refer one and I'm gonna go into this the lightest matte shade in the palette and I'm going to blend that one right in the inner portion of my eyelid. And I'm using the Sonia G Worker 2 again, going back into Magma. And I'm bringing that shade. Just again going over what I've already done. And the refer 15 again with sundown and giving another nice little blend there. on the bottom too. Okay, now I have to do the shimmers on the other eye. I forgot. All right, high degree, which is the red, reddish shade anyway. Alloy, I think I did. A really bright shade in the center. Right, right up the lid there. So now I'm going to go in with some concealer. <laughs> one, the refer one. And it right in there. the magma shade on Sonia G Builder 2. Dragging it over. I'm really not noticing like a ton of fallout. Let me just make this a little bit better there. Onto concealer. I don't usually use this much concealer, but when I'm sweaty like this, I kind of have to. blocking myself I'm so sorry <laughs> all right so now I brought out my uh, Fenty cream blush in the shade petal poppin I really really like these I know I did like a first impressions and I was sort of like indifferent on them <laughs> my has that changed though uh, I absolutely adore them and now I have three shades and a bronzer. I have macchiato bronzer. I am actually wearing that today, but I did that before I started the video. So. That's why first impressions kind of stink because 
your opinion can drastically change on a product and and it does a lot but I think these are actually really really wonderful because they're very buildable they're really hard to overdo and I think they also they work good over top of makeup it doesn't take my makeup off and I think that they work on a variety of different skin types I think you can have oily skin and like these you can have combo skin and like these I have dry skin and I love them I think they're it's a very forgiving formula and I think that um, yeah they're really great people complain about the size because I mean it looks really tiny but that's gonna take me forever that's gonna take just as long as any other blush would take to go through so I don't think the size is like a drawback um, so yeah anyway I really like them but this video is not about them so let me just set my under eyes really quick and we can finish the eye look Sonia G pencil one. I'm going to go in with silk on my inner corner. Oh, that one is a little messy. Um, I might not use this brush. I'm going to use this Luxie short shader brush. pencil one brush and I will go into the shade rhodium which is this one I'm going to use this on my lower lid yeah I think this is actually a cream shade it seems like it is I don't mean to block myself I keep doing that I do apologize Okay, since it's on the lower lid, you can't really tell that it's like a bluish purple blurple. It's a blurple. I will go into Deep Dive, which is right next to it. Uh, that's definitely a cream shade, no doubt about it. And I'm just going to put this on the outer portion. And while I'm at it, I'm going to just sort of line the top lid a little bit with this. I like using the cream matte shade as liner when they're good. This does seem like a good one. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just doing the uh, outer half on the lower lid and basically on the top lid too, the outer half. And I kind of come out in like a little bit of a wing shape just with the shadow. All right, so that's done. My eye look is done. This is Torch. This is Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, which is my absolute favorite mascara and it has been for a couple years now that's it that is my very first look with the uh, natasha denona bronze palette yeah very bright okay 
Oh man, did I just get mascara on? Okay. Um, yeah. So that was it. That was. That's all I have for you for today. This was almost an hour long, but I gave you swatches. I showed you the. D I probably really should do swatch comparisons. It would just take me forever, and I have to go show houses. Um, but yeah. So, but I did want to just make this video, get this out here, get this look out here, and I'll show you. Final step, I almost forgot. How could you let me forget? Okay, just a clean blending brush, fluffy guy, and just make a final blend over everything. That is it. With that, I'm gonna just finish this video, say goodbye, and I will probably try to come back tomorrow and create a couple more looks with this palette maybe then I will be ambitious 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 and watch the other similar shades with the other Natasha palettes but I really don't have time to do that today so I have to leave it at this for now but yeah let me know if you got this palette or if you're thinking about it. Let me know if this video was helpful. Let me know if you like the eye look. Let me know anything you want to let me know. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about it all in the comments. Okay, so I'm just going to say see you later, really, because I don't want to say goodbye. Okay, so <laughs> with that, oh my gosh, why does... Why does an intro and signing off have to be so difficult? All right. With that, nope. Mm -mm. All right, guys. I will see you in my next video, and I hope you have a great day. All right.